Hello, today is week 10, day one, and today we're going to learn about characters and setting. Now, characters are all of the people or animals that are in the story. So these are some Bible characters here, and um, they are people in the story. Sometimes we have stories about animals. Those can be characters too. And the setting is um, where the story takes place or what time it takes place. And also be the time and place if the author includes that. So what are some stories that you remember? Can you think of any characters that are in your stories? Can you think of the setting when it happened or where it happened? Or maybe you know both. To better understand what they read, good readers think about how a passage relates to things they know or have done. They make connections with the text. This says, pay attention to where the characters are and what they do. Train ride. My big brother's wife had a baby boy. His name is Jack, and he lives far away. We are taking a train to see him. We will see the baby tomorrow. My sister and I can't wait. We had to stand far away from the track when the train came into the station. It was very loud. We found our car and climbed aboard. A man came by and took our tickets. The train cars have big seats. My sister sits and reads. I enjoy looking out the windows. We pass green fields. We pass houses and stores. One of the cars of the train is for eating. It has tables in it. We order food just like in a restaurant. I get fried chicken. My sister gets a hamburger. We'll sleep on the train tonight. My sister and I have a little room of our own. Two beds like bunk beds fold down from the walls. Mine feels nice. The train wheels go clackety clack, clackety clack, baby Jack, I think as I go to sleep. All right, so who were the characters in this story? The main ones that it talked about was um, the sister and the person telling the story, right? They were going on a little trip. And what was the setting? Where were they? They were on a train. Right? They were in one of the cars of the train. And they went different places on it. To get food and to sleep. All right. Let's see if we can answer some of these questions. I don't think it really told us when this took place. Sometimes it might, maybe maybe one time that it maybe took place might be during the summer, because that might be when, um, when two kids would have time to go on a trip on the train to see their, um, relative. So that's just an idea, but I don't think the author really says anywhere here um, when it took place, just where. Number one, the person telling the story eats a hamburger on the train. 
is riding alone, cannot go to sleep, or likes to ride on the train. Remember, um, some things aren't exactly stated, but um, you can be a t detective and you can think, hmm, I wonder if I know from the words that I see how someone might feel. Number two, when the characters are ready to sleep, they go to the car for eating, the back of the train, the train station, a car with bunk beds. Number three, the person telling the story wants to A, eat at a table, B, see the baby, C, stay at the station, D, keep the train ticket. Number four, the train station, A, is loud when the train comes. B, is a place to sit and read. C, has big seats. And D, has two beds. Underline a part of the story that you would like to do. Look back at the story. Is there something you'd like to do? Would you like to look out the windows? Would you like to order some food? What would you like to do on the train?